Hello all and welcome, and I am the MGTOW Philosopher, and it's that time again for MGTOW Haters. Yes, welcome for another episode of MGTOW Hater Comments and My Replies. So every once in a while when I've accumulated enough hater comments, I'll compile them and give my replies to said comments. Now, unfortunately, you guys out there haven't be, been sending me enough MGTOW hater comments. And I know, I know there's many of you out there that hate MGTOW. And you just make me laugh my ass off when you send me these hateful comments talking about how men are evil and, and, and feminists are wonderful. I, I, I love this shit. And you call me names. It's very amusing. So, you know, come on. Where's the MGTOW hater stuff from you people out there? who are diehard feminists and simps and wimps and pussies and white night manginas. I mean, really, come on. You're not giving me enough hate here. I'm not getting enough uh, hater comments. You're not making my day enough. You're not giving me the kind of joy I need. Okay, I need... Come on, give me, give me, give me more joy. Give me more of your hate and vitriol. Because <laughs> I find it so funny. Ah... So I don't have as much here as I usually do. I, I, I want more of your vitriol and bile and anger, and there must be more than this, I'm sure. <sighs> but it's enough. It's enough. Just be a little shorter than usual, but some of you might actually like that because these uh, hater comment videos generally run about an hour, so this might be, this will obviously be less than that. So that actually, that'd be a good thing because some of you, uh, you know, don't have uh, the greatest attention spans. But anyway, so... Let's start with comment number one. And these are going to go from most recent to oldest. And first comment is from an MH. Okay, <laughs> not a name. Person didn't even have the uh, uh, imagination to come up with a name. Just two letters, MH. I guess it's initials. I don't know. Uh, uh, and my video, single mom dresses son up as a woman. That was a freaky video. Uh, <laughs> for a philosopher... You are somewhat obnoxious and either have poor comprehension skills, some kind of guilty mind, or both. Try contemplating a comment before responding. <laughs> I called this person a meathead because they made some kind of weird comment that didn't seem to make any sense to me. So I called him a meathead. I was just being whimsical, but, eh, you know, some people have thin skins. What are you going to do? I was just kidding around there, pal. But anyway, uh... I don't know what the hell this reply means either, so I'm going to skip over it. It looked like a nasty comment, but it's also pretty hard to understand the point of it, and really not much I can say about it. Let's move on to the next comment from an L. Saturnus. L. Maybe, maybe a Mexican person, like El Diablo, El Saturnus. <laughs> of course, the Saturn thing... Uh, uh, making a uh, reference to a Greek god. I don't know about that. A little weird. Uh, anyway, uh, and the video, this is what the war looks like. Some people didn't like that video. I think there's, I don't know how this could possibly be because Jessica Simpson was a horrible actress. I heard she was in that horrible Dukes of Hazard movie, which I did not watch. <laughs> it looked like crap to me. By the way, she was hot in that. Now she's just a blob. <laughs> a giant walking pancake. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. But anyway, uh, I can't imagine how she had fans. I guess this person was one of them, or maybe it's just some fat woman. Who knows? Sounds like you were alone. Yeah. So what? What, what does that have to do with anything? I mean, what does we mean alone? How, why does it sound like I'm alone? <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, is this implying that I'm some horrible person, so I must be alone? Because I sound so nasty and horrible that there's no way I could possibly be with anyone. <laughs> well, I live alone, that's for sure. But if I don't want to be alone, I'm not alone. Does that answer your question? Because there's a question mark after it for some reason. Although that seems to be the case with a lot of comments. Is that just something that gets automatically added? Because I see a lot of question marks after comments that are clearly not questions. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, next comment from a Jill Hayes. Ah, a woman. Maybe this will be a good comment. Anyway, in my video, 13-year post-war woman wonders why she's single. <laughs> I think that same broad that was in the uh, video about the redhead... Uh, uh, so it turns out she's a writer, and a very bad writer at that. I'm not going to name her. Don't want to be accused of uh, 
bullying or harassing this poor woman who hates men <laughs> and thinks Black Lives Matter is great and loves Obama and thinks feminism is uh, wonderful. Oh, no. She's such a special snowflake. I can't say anything bad about her. So uh not going to mention her name. I'm going to say she's a moron, though. And Jill Hayes says, MGTOW philosopher, have you got a woman or do you even want one? <laughs> it's so funny to me. I mean, what the hell? It's such a silly comment as if being MGTOW automatically means I somehow can't get women or something. This is a very strange assumption, although I guess it shouldn't be because there's a lot more uh, vocal guys out there, a lot more guys out there who are vocal and trying to promote MGTOW as some kind of movement. And some kind of group, which is not. And they're also trying pr to promote it as some kind of philosophy that means you're not going to be with women. Namely, a lot of MGTOW monks out there uh, pawning off the no true Scotsman fallacy, talking stuff like, oh, yeah, no MGTOW ain't with women and all that. We, we don't bang women. It's like, what the hell, dude? It's, it's not an ideology or philosophy. It's just a phrasal verb. Men going their own way. I mean, the, the only thing uh, you, you need to do to fit the definition of a man going his own way is to not give women your resources. Uh, just like the only definition to be a runner is somebody that runs. I, I really don't get this preoccupation with the must be uh, do this or do that to, to be a true MIG tower, a true this or a true that. I mean, you guys out there really got to be careful. You're getting into uh, uh, ideological traps that are essentially creating MIG tau groups where you don't want to have one. You do not want to become like feminism with this well-developed ideology that locks you into a specific mindset and does all your thinking for you so you don't have to think for yourself. You want to avoid that. That's what I try to avoid. And you got to be careful even with the words you use because words have a lot of power. Why do you think the left has been winning, winning, winning for the past 60 years? Because they understand this. They understand psychological tactics like changing the meanings of words. It's very powerful tactics. So you have to be very careful. But no... Uh, I, <laughs> this is just, do I even want one? No. You mean like long-term? No, I've had long-term. I've had long-term relationships that lasted five years and shit. And I, I honestly, that doesn't interest me. I, I'm not interested in a long, long, long-term relationship. It just doesn't interest me. Being with a woman five, six years, I can tell you that it's not for me. Okay. And it's mostly simply, uh, well, I mean, there's various reasons, of course. Most of them have to do with the way the government has empowered women and made them too powerful to the point where, uh, you know, it, it, there's no benefits. Uh, there's no benefits whatsoever. It, also, uh, Western women are cunts and bitches. So, you know, no. Uh, but anyway, uh, do I want one? No. Do I have one? I have different ones at various times. <laughs> Next question. Sherman Sanders and my video, This is What the Wall Looks Like. Ugh, for some reason, people didn't like that video. Seems like those wall videos get a lot of negative responses. What a crazy sounding asshole narrating. Mangina problems, no doubt. What? This can't be a guy. I mean, this is a guy. He's accusing me of being a mangina when he's defending fat women. Very strange. Uh, project much, Sherman? <laughs> what a faggot name. <laughs> Sherman. <laughs> okay, buddy. It reminds me of like a, some, guy, it's like some guy that was like a mama's boy. Sherman! Sherman, come here, Sherman. Yes, mommy. <laughs> I, I, I get the image of a mama's boy uh, in my head. You want to help me put the frosting on the cake, Sherman? <laughs> yes, mommy, I would love that. <laughs> oh, I have nothing to say on that comment. Next comment from a, a Joy, Joe Cycle Warrior. Oh, boy. Whenever I see these comments with a guy who writes like what's supposed to be thinks is like a really tough sounding name, I'm always imagining some dude that like weighs maybe 130 pounds, skinny little motherfucker, and he's just trying to project strength. And my video, 13 years post wall, doesn't know why she's single. Dude, I bet you a fat bastard, one metric ton. <laughs> Wrong, Joe. You might want to change that name, too, buddy. Next comment from a Stuart Callis. Callis, Callis, I don't know. This is what the wall looks like. Another one? What is it with you people? You really like Jessica Simpson that much? She, she's a total fucking airhead. If she's got a 90 IQ, I'd be 
highly surprised, okay? She's a horrible actress. I don't know what her claim to fame was. What was her claim to fame? Was she a singer or something? I mean, I don't even, it, what, what, what did she do? I don't know what she did. That She was supposed to be famous. I, I, I don't know. It just seems like being an airhead these days is enough to be famous. Look at those fucking Kardashians. They're all a bunch of morons. I, I don't even, what are they famous for? I don't get it. I mean, I, I've been, a, <laughs> I, I don't know. Dude, you come across as a cunt. Why? Oh, you just want to insult me? No argument. Okay. <laughs> a lot of women suffer with low self-esteem and to bash someone. Ba- bash a millionaire, you mean. <laughs> bash someone as a millionaire for when she was hot, essentially made her money showing off her ass. And what, was she a singer or something? Uh, I don't know. She, she sang badly? Was she a model? I mean, so <laughs> whoop fucking doo da Well, maybe she ought to use some of that money to buy a thicker skin. Bash someone. When they're in a bad way is bully bullying Stewart. His name is Stewart. Okay, so this is a geek, wimp, mangina, pussy boy. Can I pull out your chair for you? <laughs> oh, I don't want you to get your foot wet in that puddle. Can I take off my jacket and throw it over the water so you can step on my coat and ruin it? Just so you can not get your feet wet. Oh, oh, oh geez, look at that. The street is flooded. You want to get on my shoulders? <laughs> I'll give you a piggyback ride so you don't get your legs wet. This fucking guy sounds like, you sound like the cunt. And by the way, it's like a, like a pussy too, Stuart, standing up for some broad. You think she's going to lay you, Stuart? Just, first of all, Jessica Simpson is an ugly broad, okay? You, th- th- you think she's so wonderful, that's fine. She's a millionaire, but she's going to go for you, Stuart. That's, that's, that's the thing I don't get. Why are guys out there white knighting for broads they're not even going to get? You've got no chance. I mean, oh, okay. I could understand, like, if in the moment you're, like, in the street and some guy yells at some chick or, you know, does something and some guy ch- decides to white knight in the moment, hey, dude, leave her alone. Uh, okay, that, eh, you know, mind your own fucking business. But still, I can understand that to a certain extent, maybe. But at this broad lives in Hollywood or something. She's a millionaire. <laughs> she could buy and sell 10 of you, Stuart. What the fuck are you defending her for? What do you even care? Why is it so important for you to defend a woman? I don't understand that. I don't understand. And there's no possibility you're going to get her. It must be biological. Right. Men want to protect. They have this natural inclination to protect women. And some guys just haven't turned on their critical thinking skills, their logic and reason. Uh, there's some kind of cognitive dissonance when it comes to women. So that particular part of their brain doesn't kick on. When women are around. So it's like, oh, 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 wait a second now. that She's equal to me. Uh, I don't need the white knight for her. Uh, she wanted equality really fucking bad. So I'm going to let her defend herself. I don't need to defend her because, you know, I'm just giving her more power and authority over me and the rest of the society when I do that. Oh, no, no, Stuart. You, Stuart, you don't realize that, though, do you? That you're destroying men. <laughs> and you're destroying society when you white knight like that. Uh, lacking self-awareness much, Stuart. Uh, again, you're a cunt. Yeah, I'm a cunt. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm proud of it, buddy. At least I'm not a pussy who's destroying the world who is a pawn for women and the global elites. You, you, you pawn, you, you, you puppet. <sighs> Next comment from a Kwasim Salama. What? Sounds like a Muslim name. I, I, I can't even pronounce it. It's kind of the, 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 the last name looks like Salam, like Salam Aleikum or s- s- Salami. <laughs> I don't know. I can't pronounce it. And my video, fat feminist pulled off a plane. It, it might be a Muslim because the broad that was pulled off the plane was a Muslim, of course. Oh, we're so oppressed. There's like one and a half billion of us in the world, but we're somehow a, a minority and we're oppressed. Yeah, right. The bitch doesn't seem fat. And I don't know if she's a feminist. Yeah, she is. I, I did some research on her. She's a feminist. She's a gender studies professor or some shit, dude. Why don't you do some research? But I would not want to sit beside two dogs either. Ew, ew, ew. Come on. Who gives a shit? What? They were, I think one of them was for like a blind person or something. The other was like the assistant dog. Like, you know, somebody had like a mental problem or an anxiety disorder and they had a doctor's note. You know, so it was like an assistance dog of some kind. So what's your problem? I love dogs. I'll sit beside two dogs. I'll jump in my lap. Well, maybe not that. <laughs> I don't know if I love them that much, but. 
you know, the woman was clearly being unreasonable, clearly very untitled broad, entitled broad, uh, used to getting her own way. The moment she didn't get her own way, she flipped out. They had to pull her off the motherfucking plane. She got charged with a resisting arrest, by the way. I saw her, her charge sheet. She was being charged with like four or five different crimes. <laughs> I love it. Of course, she won't get any jail time because it's a woman. You know, women don't get jail time for anything unless they chop somebody's head off. I mean, unless they chop somebody's head off, uh, they're not going to jail, uh, generally speaking. Not everybody's an animal lover. Well, she could have asked for a different seat. She could have done that. But instead, she had a conniption fit, okay? She could have asked to switch seats with somebody else. But the bitch had a conniption fit, so they threw off the plane. I don't have a problem with it. I wouldn't want the flight attendants to take my displeasure for sitting beside two dogs into consideration. Oh, I would want the flight attendants to... Well, who cares? <laughs> what are you, a pussy? What do you, mean? you can't sit by two dogs. What the fuck are you, a fragile little slow flake motherfucker? You can't sit beside two dogs. How is this? I don't understand this, man. You got people going to war and bullets are shotting, getting shot at them. Now, I find that uh, th that's, uh, that's unpleasant. Okay, that's certainly unpleasant. Yes, you have displeasure for having to sit by two dogs. And meanwhile, you got people going to war and getting bullets flying, whizzing past them. They're getting arms and legs blown off. I would find that unpleasant. But for some reason, you can't handle sitting by two dogs, and this woman can't handle sitting by two dogs. There's something wrong with people these days. People these days have become so delicate. They can't handle anything. The tiniest little motherfucking thing, and they flip out. People have become weak. Weak. It's like, it's almost like we're de-evolving. <laughs> I don't get it. It's like people are going back in time as far as evolution goes and getting weaker and stupider. <sighs> Next comment. Oh, it, oh, it's the, oh, it's not done yet. As much as I hate women, I think the bashing of women by MGTOW is the same guy. The bashing of women by MGTOW is akin to the liberal media's bashing of President Trump. Ah, uh, well, there's actually a purpose served by guys like me bashing women. I'm not bashing women. I'm actually when I do my videos, I'm actually doing commentary. You, you meathead, you. I'm actually doing commentary, so I'm commenting on things women did. How is it bashing women to actually point out the things they do wrong? Wouldn't it be bashing them if they didn't do anything wrong and I just insulted them? <laughs> how, is it, how is pointing out the things they're doing wrong bashing them, you moron? Now, now I'm bashing you. So you see what the hell the difference is. You're a fucking idiot. D do you see the difference now? Now I'm bashing you. But I'm also bashing you for something you did, you pinhead. Any excuse to say something bad about him. Yeah, the left loves any excuse to say something bad about President Trump, but actually he's not doing a bad job. He's doing a decent job. He hasn't followed through with all of his promises, and it seems like he's, you know, waffling on the fucking building of the wall and that shit with DACA, uh, you know, and the healthcare thing. Eh, you know, I mean, tch. but some of that's not his fault because of Congress. Uh, and by the way, you have a liberal media that's pushing 24-hour uh, 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 disinformation propaganda bullshit. Meanwhile, they don't report anything that he does that's good. And they spin everything that could be spun to be bad when it's really either neutral or positive. So the media is dishonest, okay? I'm not dishonest. I'm just commenting on stuff that specific women or groups of women actually did. It's not the same thing. Well, maybe there are some... But I don't know. <laughs> I mean, maybe there are some correlations there. Maybe it is the same. Who knows? I, I don't think so. I mean, you, yeah, quite frankly... Uh, you know, feminism is destroying the country. Donald Trump is not destroying the fucking country. It's the feminists and the cultural Marxist pinheads that are destroying the country. And those are the people I comment on. So for you to say there's an equivalency, uh, you're misreading things and misrepresenting them. They take advantage of the slightest fault they can find in him. And while they might be right, some of the time, their pathetic bellyache he makes them look like they have a stick up their ass, even when they're right. Uh, I'm bellyaching? Pow. I'm trying to make a difference in the motherfucking world for the positive by picking stories in the media and sometimes making original content, talking about very specific things to warn men not to get married. Now, maybe there will come a time when it's safe to get married again. Not that it's a good thing anyway, because for a man to get married, it's still <laughs> servitude and slavery. But some men want that. And if women were to go back to their own gender role and men and women that were to mutually enslave themselves to each other at least there would be some quid pro quo but the way things are now we're just plow horses so i'm trying to help 
Men, I have a specific goal, and it's not a selfish one. It's a selfless one. The left are just ideologue pinheads pushing a global elite, elite narrative that will destroy the fucking world and create worldwide government and worldwide socialism. Do you see the difference? Ay, ay, ay. The delivery in this video seemed way too personal. Ah, you're a pussy. You're a pussy, pal, for something as trivial, trivial as some dumb drama queen who threw a hissy fit on a plot. Oh, now she's not that great. Now you're calling her a drama queen and having a hissy fit. Before you were defending her. Eh, you're kind of a chameleon, pal. You're just a white knight pussy trying to masquerade as a guy that uh, is going his own way. You're making a few too many excuses for this broad at the same time trying to equiv uh, create, create some kind of equivalency between me and some wacky leftist. Epic fail on your part, buddy. Next. From AVB789. <sighs> Two days ago. Okay. Fat women and why men hate them. This is an old video, but it still gets a lot of play. Hope you enjoy your playthings as an old fat cow myself. <laughs> ah, well, at least you're honest, honey. I am so overjoyed that I will never meet up with you. Uh, well, not as overjoyed as I am, sweetheart, because being with you, the food bill would probably be so much it would bankrupt my ass. Next comment from a S. Tomlinson two days ago. And this is what the wall looks like. Oh, Jesus Christ. It, uh, wow, some of you really don't like that video. I, I guess the truth hurts, huh? S. Tomlinson. Well, I don't know if this is a man or a woman. We'll see what this person says, and then we'll see if we can extrapolate whether or not it's a man or a woman. You are so sad. Oh, it's a woman. <laughs> it's a woman. I can tell. Men don't generally say you're so sad. First of all, she has way more money than her husband. How do you know that? He was unemployed. Unempl he he's a professional football player, honey. And he looks like he's about 40. Or he's an old guy. He's in his mid to late 30s. He wasn't unemployed. Okay? I don't know what you're talking about. The guy's a professional football player. What are you saying? He started working as a football player when he was 35? Uh, no, he's near retirement or he's already retired from football. Or if he's still playing, he won't be for very much longer. I saw white, white hairs in the fucking guy's uh, 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 facial hair. He's a millionaire, you dope. What a sad life you must have. Really pathetic, sexist loser, huh? Yeah, don't you love it? Whenever you have anything negative to say about women, you're a sexist. But if women have anything negative to say about men, oh, 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 belly laugh, guffaw. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're not a sexist, but I'm a sexist. I see. Mm. Next comment from a Lee G. And this is what the wall looks like. This is very strange. This would be a guy. I'm gonna, this is what the guy sounds like to me in my head. Do you even lift bra? B-R-A-H. What is that? Bro? Bra? 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 <laughs> I can't. Do you even lift bra? You have a weak voice also. Yeah, you've been smoking a few too many camels, Val. <laughs> Just that voice in my head. <laughs> Dude, what the hell are you, what are you talking about, weak voice? How does it... I don't get this. How is a voice weak? I, I don't understand. Can somebody out there tell me how a voice is weak? Am I not baritone enough for you, buddy? <laughs> I sound like I'm weak and I don't lift? Lift what? Bags? My backpack? What is this guy talking about? I don't know what the fuck. I guess he's talking about weights or something. It's just trying to uh, defame me in some way. Ooh, you've hurt my feelings so much. You see, I wish the feminists had this thick a skin. Uh, so many people out there are pussies these days. They let little shit bother them. Can't handle anything. Bunch of wimps. All right, next comment from a rainfall. Ah, that's a weird name. Okay. Uh... And my video, Fat UK Woman Has No Clue Why She's Single. Yeah, this is the bro who I found out later. I should have done some research in her, by the way. I mean, she sounded bad enough uh, when I read the story, and it turns out she had four kids. <laughs> I could have really roasted her some more over that. Jesus Christ. Been divorced. She's divorced twice. She's got to be 200, 220 pounds easy. She's about at least 15 years past the wall. Of course, the way she looks, I bet she was hitting the wall at 25. So I'm going to say 20 years past the wall because it takes a hell of a lot of years to reach that kind of, you know, nasty, fucked up face that that broad had. I mean, she's really hideous. So I'm going to guess that she was uh, drinking and clubbing it and living a hard ass life. And by the age of 25 and eating too much, too, and being a fat slob, even so by 25, she was 
pretty much walled out. So, yeah, I'm going to say uh, 20 years, at least, maybe more, past the wall. And she can't find a man, and she doesn't know why. Oh, it's because I live far away from the city. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> you keep selling yourself that, honey. And this person has to, I don't know if this is a man or a woman, we'll see. Oh, it's a woman. Men are assholes. Are we? Are we really? Why are we assholes? Oh, no. No argument for why. Just uh, a woman essentially yelling and screaming insults, which is the norm. You should use that money on a vacation or even send it to charity. A lot of better than, oh, she's talking to the woman in the video now. You should use that money on a vacation or even send it to charity. A lot better than chasing after useless pieces of crap. I, I assume she's referring to men. Men are no good. Well, okay. But you got a dildo that's shaped like our cock. <laughs> I bet you do. So apparently we're good for something. And, mm, well, are you divorced, honey? I'm, I'm willing to guess that with as bitter and angry as you are, that you're probably someone who's been married once or twice yourself and benefited heavily from that man's wallet. Oh, but they're no good and useless. Uh-huh, I see. Okay. Men are no good and relationships are overrated. This is what a woman whose holes have been worn out says and who's been dumped by many, many men. Men are a waste of time. Absolute waste of time. Yeah. You're angry and bitter. I don't even say that about women. <laughs> I don't even say they're a waste of time. They have some things I like and can use them for. For you to be talking like that, honey, you must be really bitter and angry. And this is, of course, typical of all women. Any woman that's been dumped twice in her life is already used and damaged goods, and she hates men. That's the kind of creatures they are. No control of their emotions. Next comment from a rash B. And my video, kneeling for the anthem. Did you ever give blacks reparations? What, we, me? Well, I pay taxes, pal, so yeah, I've given them reparations. What do you think they... What do you think all that welfare cheddar is? What do you think that welfare cheese is, huh? I, that's, that's reparations, pal. Nope. Then slave ancestors can do whatever the fuck they want. Say what? I, this person has no uh, comprehension of linear time. Dude, I can't say that because some black guy... <laughs> <laughs> this is such stupid logic. You must have a really a low IQ. I can't say that some black guy 150 years ago uh, robbed and killed my great, 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 I don't know how many greats it would be, great, 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 great grandfather. And so now it's okay for me to go kill some black people. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's the same kind of equivocation you're trying to use. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard, buddy. That's long in the past. You have to deal with the present. Oh, I see, but you don't want to stand on your own two feet. You don't want to accept responsibility for being a loser. So you're going to blame everybody else. Ah, interesting. The anthem is hypocritical to begin with. Really? How so? They have the silly line that the land of the free, but it was made when, when there were still slaves. Uh, yeah. And it was written by a northerner, you moron. And northerners were fighting in a war to free your ungrateful ass ancestors you pinhead and like 98 percent of americans didn't own slaves you fool that makes it propaganda for its time uh no it doesn't because uh, the north was the land of the free you idiot and then the song was written you pinhead you funny how sold solid talkers can go snowflake if it's an issue they actually care about oh uh, you're an idiot nobody owes you anything Nobody owes you a goddamn thing. In fact, the system is set up to favor you. You have all these laws in place that give you more opportunities than a white person. More opportunities than a white man, you moron. And you're here complaining that you don't have enough opportunities. I don't have enough opportunities. Ooh. Yeah, you're just buying into this fucking victimhood narrative. And that victimhood narrative, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy that's keeping you a victim. Throw the victimhood narrative out. Stand on your own motherfucking two feet and stop making excuses for why you're not a success. You're not a success because you've bought into this victimhood narrative that you can't make it because the whole system's against you, everybody's against you, and you're disenfranchised in some way, and that's why you haven't made it. No, you haven't made it because you've told yourself all these things, and therefore you haven't tried that hard to fucking make it and stand on your own two feet. That's why. So shut the fuck up. Nobody owes you a goddamn thing. Pussy boy. Next comment. From an I am. Ah. Huh? I am what? <sighs> and my video, this is what the wall looks like. Now, this video again, Jesus Christ. 
Hey, you bunch of pussies out there getting so upset. <laughs> you sound like a fucking child. I didn't see anything grotesque. The only thing grotesque is your childish presentation. <laughs> I hear this shrill voice in my head. I imagine she sounds something like that. Really? My grotesque presentation. Eh, well, you know, you have just described my presentation as something. I think it was funny. <laughs> you think it's grotesque. I can't really argue with that. You're entitled to your opinion, as wrong as it might be in my head. But, you know, it might have sounded grotesque to you. That's a relative opinion. You can think whatever the hell you want. Nothing more to say about that. Next comment from a Serena... Far hat. Ah. Okay. Ah, what the hell kind of name is it? Far hat? Ah, Farat. I don't know. And fat women and why men hate the bottle. Just seeing that title again makes me laugh. I really loved making that video. That was a fun one. I can't believe how much of a devil you are. You're the devil! The devil! <laughs> one solution for you. Go to hell, you motherfucking son of a bitch. <laughs> I threw in the motherfucking son of a bitch because <laughs> it just felt right. Uh, good Lord. Wow. And it's all in caps, too. Don't you love it when somebody writes everything in caps? I mean, that's a really angry person. That means you really pissed them off. So I did my job. <laughs> I'm the devil. <laughs> the devil. The devil. Okay. I, got to, I remember that. There was a Seinfeld episode this reminds me of. Uh, what, what, what was that episode? I'm trying to think here. Uh. Jeez Louise. Oh, yeah, it was when Elaine's boyfriend had painted his face and he was going to one of those uh, hockey games and he did the, the car came up and it almost hit him and he went into the, 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 to the side of the car with the devils, the devils, and this Spanish speaking priest who <laughs> was visiting from Guatemala or something freaked out and, and thought he'd seen the real devil. That's hilarious. That's amazing how many uh, real-life experiences uh, can essentially be compared to a Seinfeld episode, isn't it? Anyway, yes, yes, I am the devil. <laughs> no soup for you. Next comment. <laughs> On uh, my video called Fatty is so fat she won't be raped. So she won't be raped. And, yeah, that was an interesting one too. The only thing I didn't like about that article was it was too short. I mean, I was really ragging on that fat woman, and I didn't have enough material because I wanted to continue, but she just didn't give me any more material. Ah, well. And the comment is, you fat-shaming dickheads are evil. Fat-shaming. Lady, if more people fat-shamed, you wouldn't be fat, and you'd probably have a man, and you wouldn't be so angry. You should be happy that fat shamers exist. You should be unhappy that people are enabling you to be a big fat pig. That's what you should be unhappy about. You shouldn't be angry at me. People have been too nice to you in your life. And they've told you you're beautiful, but you're not. You're a fat slob. And you need to go on a diet. It's just that simple. Next comment from the same person, Veronica Deflo. Veronica Deflo again. Same Oh, no, another video. Fatty blames porn for hubby's ED. <laughs> Stop! It's all cap. Oh, this is all caps, by the way, and so is the last message. And I'm going to have to screech, but in a lower voice, because it, it's all caps. Don't blame me. Stop that shaming! Women of size are beautiful! Go eat a pile of running porn testicles! <laughs> and I'm imagining that, uh, uh, what was that big fat broad at uh, a... What was the one at that, that uh, Snuggly Puff? Well, I forget her name. Triggly Puff or whatever the fuck she was at that. <laughs> Getting triggered and waving her arms around with them big fat fucking turkey waddle arms flapping around. <laughs> That's what I'm imagining right now. Uh, uh, reading that or screeching that. So stop fat shaming. Why? You need it. Look at you. I mean, I can't see you, but I'm guessing you're a big fat slob. Otherwise, you wouldn't object to me. Fat shaming. Thin hot chicks don't object to fat shaming. Only big fat pigs object to fat shaming. Women of size are beautiful. Who, who, who said this? Where, where, where did you hear this? Is this just like your own self-affirmation? Because I've never heard this before. <laughs> I, I, where do you get this? I don't think they're beautiful. And, and by the way, honey, most men do not think women of size are beautiful. Yeah, there's guys out there that are chubby chasers and love fat women and all that. But it's a fetish. That's a fetish. It's abnormal. 
They're extremely rare outliers is what they are. Okay? You got about as much chance of winning the lottery as you do of finding one of these guys. I mean, you go on like Craigslist or something and advertise your big fat ass 400 pound woman looking for a guy that loves curves. Bitch, you ain't got curves. You're just like a giant barrel. Okay? <laughs> That's not curvy. I mean, unless you're talking it's a circle, uh, looking from above, well, yeah, then you're curvy, but <laughs> it's not the good kind of curvy. Beyonce is a good kind of curvy. You, you're just like a barrel. Go eat a pile of rotting boar testicles. Rotting? Yeah. And she spelled boar, B-O-R, it's B-O-A-R. Anyway, fat and uneducated. That's a bad combination, honey. You know, if you're going to be a big fat pig, you should go and get a really good education so that you can write these messages in a way that I can understand them and that your spelling is correct. Because since you're never going to find a man who's going to pay for anything, you need to take care of yourself. So if you're this big and fat, the least you could do is be educated enough to spell the word boar correctly. Next comment. And my video, Fatty Blames Porn for Hubby's ED. It's from Veronica DeFlo again. Oh, at least it's not all caps. All you McTurds are fags. <laughs> no, I have no interest to sleep with a man, by the way. But I'm sure you do, but you just can't get one. And have withered little cocks. Oh, honey, you're way off base there. You misogynistic... Oh, now it goes in the capitals. You misogynistic shit, motherfuckers. Die alone. I hope. <laughs> I hope. And she says that if it's a bad thing. Sweetheart, being alone can be great if you love yourself. Now, if I'm a big turd like you, <laughs> realize now that it's impossible to polish a turd. It's, impo it's impossible to polish a turd, and it's impossible to polish a big, fat woman. So when you are like you, being alone, well, that's not really a... a an advantageous position. I wouldn't want to be alone if I was you. But I'm me. I'm quite happy being alone. Thank you very much. Oh, no, not again. Another comment from Veronica DeFlo. Oy, 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 DeFlo. It just, it just makes me think of the word flow, which makes me think of period, which I think this woman must be on. I guess this is a heavy flow she's experiencing, which is why she's so moody. <laughs> and all this shit is flowing out of her mouth. Ay ay ay! Women are smarter, and we make s you so your objects to what? Women are smarter, and we make you so your objects too, Mister Smallcock. You make me what? Uh, what? What do you mean? You're an easy bake oven? Oh, I'm so you 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 <laughs> you give birth. Well, you haven't given birth. No man has fucked you in your life, but other women can give birth. Sure. Okay. So what? You don't make me. I mean, you, it requires a man's sperm, and he contributes to the mix. His go-juice goes with your egg, and then they mix, so it's 50-50. All you are is an easy-bake oven. And by the way, it doesn't take all that much energy to make a man. You can do it in a coma and be pregnant and still have a baby and never wake up. Oh, yeah, that's real difficult. Big fucking deal, honey. Smarter? Oh, my God. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not even going to touch that one with a 20-foot pole, nor would I touch you with a 100-foot pole. Next comment from a Vic Capella. Hey, this guy. <laughs> and my video nearly for the anthem, my thoughts. There's not much good about this country when you get down to it. Sure, I'd rather live here than Korea. Well, which one? North Korea or South Korea? Because South Korea is actually pretty fucking prosperous. But looking at America for what it is, could have been, this place is a dump. Well, I, I don't know about a dump. We still have one of the highest standards of living in the world. And even the poorest person here would be like a rich fucking king in like Zimbabwe or something. So I think you're overstating the negatives a bit much, Vic Capella. But that is kind of what you do in most of your comments. So I'm not going to go any further with your comment. <clears throat> Next comment from a Jarvis Moss. Ah, Moss. Okay, Jarvis. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got a bad feeling. The word Jarvis just makes me think of some hillbilly or redneck or inbred swine kind of person. We'll see. Uh, and my comment, kneeling for Anthem, my thoughts. Good to know blacks don't face injustice in America. That's like saying men and women are equal with a straight face. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Well, blacks, where tell me? Could you tell me where blacks face injustice instead of just saying this general statement that they face it in some nebulous realm that <laughs> you haven't specifically pointed out? Can you give me an example? Huh? One example? Just one example? Because it sounds like you're talking about uh, 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 institutional racism, which is a red fucking heron, because any time it's brought up, it's just institutional racism, but they don't point to the specific institution or the regulations or the laws or anything that are unfair. Uh, and they can't even point to people that are unfair. It, it, it's, it's just it's more ghost hunting bullshit. Not even going to address it. Next comment from a J.R. Meadows and my video kneeling for the anthem. The flag ain't fair to all people. Uh, well... It, literally it is because it just flay you know it waves in the wind <laughs> so it's quite fair to everybody okay uh if you're talking it, it's neutral to all now if you're talking about what it represents what the flag represents i say yes it is fair to all people oh in fact i would say it's more fair to some people than others but yet yeah, not the ones you would think i think it's more fair to black people brown people and and that sounds racist doesn't it? that's what the left this is very interesting the left are the racist I mean, the left are the ones calling people brown people. <laughs> what the fuck? If I said that 20 years ago, I'd be called a racist scumbag. And yet somehow today, that's the normal term, brown peoples. What? Oh, my God. Anyway, so it's, it's, it's unfair, all right? It's unfair to white people. It's unfair to white men specifically. It treats blacks, Hispanics, brown people, and women more fairly so you're right jr meadows but you're wrong insofar as who you're trying to infer it favors doesn't favor whites you idiot next comment from a johnny pacheco pacheco pacchio ah (sighs) these names and my video this is what the wall looks like why did you make this video dude you sound like a bitter fuck what's with the word dude Oh, my God. Why why, why do people keep using that word, dude, huh? I mean, ever since that movie, The Big Lebowski, everybody and their fucking mother calls everybody else dude. Dude. The dude. The dude. Shut up with the fucking dude already. Dude. I'm not bitter. What what are you talking about, bitter? I'm trying to red pill, guys. Now, maybe the red pill tastes bitter to you because you don't like the truth. But am I a better person? Uh... Not even close, pal. Having bitterness is a bad thing. Holding on to bitterness, being bitter, it doesn't serve any purpose. Now, I'm not a woman, <laughs> okay? Now, I'm sure there are bitter men out there, and it's a mistake. And those are the guys stuck in what we call the red pill rage, and hopefully they get out of it and move on to a point where they have more perspective on things and let go of bitterness. You can still be angry. Now, don't mistake anger, because sometimes in my videos I do get angry when I come across a fact or a statement or something in an article or something I'm reading, and it pisses me off, but that's just normal in the moment anger but it's not part of like my personality makeup or my general overall mindset uh on a day-to-day basis no so next comment from a clove clovel r (sighs) mctow hater comments eight Eh, so i have a hate comment on my video about hate comments Eh, okay (laughs) interesting dude you're an asshole (laughs) thank you baby (laughs) I don't know what else I can say to that. It's a pretty uh, pathetic attempt at an insult. I I would hope for more. Can't you do better? I mean, if you're going to insult me, do better than just calling me an asshole. I can't do much with asshole. (sighs) You're not giving me much to work with here, people. Next comment from a guy named Nick. That's it? Just Nick? (laughs) I love it. Please, people who write me, have simple, easy-to-read names. And my video, Fat Feminist Pulled Off Plane. It's obvious you have not got past your rage. What, are you trying to sound superior or something? Like you've gotten past your rage and I'm somehow some guy that's not gotten past my rage because I can get angry and you're like some emotionally neutered fuck who doesn't have the capability to get angry anymore about life because you're just wallowing in apathy and you think that's a good thing? (laughs) Okay, I'm sorry for whatever she did to you. She who? What are you talking about? Oh, this has got to be a woman. This has got to be a woman. If this is not a woman, this is one of them guys that cut their dicks off. I saw a picture once of some old guy, like, looked like he was about 60, and he's standing there with blood running down his leg, and he's cut his own dick off to make some kind of a a political statement. That's what this guy sounds like. So he's either that guy or a woman pretending to be a man. 
No woman did anything. But by the way, pal, let me make it very clear to you. Every man on the motherfucking planet has had their heart ripped out by a woman. So that means I'm like you and every other motherfucking guy, okay? So I'm no different. Pass my... Oh, there's no rage. Ay, ay, ay. Idiot. <laughs> it is okay to get angry, my friend. I know you don't have the capability to do it anymore because you've been so thoroughly cucked and simped out, but it is possible for some people to still be emotional and react to reality and aspects of reality that are objectionable. I'm sorry, you can't do that anymore, but some of us still can. Next comment from a vegan MGTOW. I never understood why veganism is. People, some people make their life. Their life is veganism. Eating carrots. <sighs> That's your life. Ay, ay, ay. And my video, Porn Causes ED. Really? It's very hard to listen to you. You're screaming in my speakers. Try to control your volume. Your messages are very good. Now, need I remind you that this was not a response video that had a, another video in it? like with another person talking. And some generally, I, I remember to turn down my volume when there's someone else talking in a video to kind of even out the voices because the screen capture device I have, well, good. It has a preset volume when it comes to recording the voices of anybody talking uh, in the screen capture that I'm doing. So I kind of have to play with my volume so sometimes I don't get it quite right. But that wasn't the case. I'm just reading an article here and commenting on it. So why don't you just turn down your volume? <laughs> I just turned down your volume. I don't get it. Some people just complain to complain. Hey, yay, yay. Oh, I have to feel like I'm put upon. Oh, yeah, wimp. Next comment. After the rage. My story of finding MGTOW. This is my video, my story of finding MGTOW. Dude, this guy's a joke. At best, he's angry MGTOW 2.0. And at worst, a feminist plant. What? Huh? First of all, I have nothing against angry MGTOW, Okay. And he's got a certain way of delivering stuff. Mine's different, I think. I don't think we're alike in any way. I think he's angry a lot. But he calls himself angry MGTOW. It's not like you're not prepared to hear it. I think I get angry sometimes, but it's not my nom de plume. I'm not, like, always angry. This guy is always angry in his video. And I'm not saying that as if it was a pejorative, a bad thing. That's just he's really angry all the fucking time in his videos. That's, that's his thing. I'm not angry all the time, so I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Feminist plant? What? How I, I hate feminism is my number one enemy in the world. It, it, you clearly haven't mit, listened to my videos. You've just like listened to some authority figure who has just told you something, and like a good parrot, <laughs> you learned it, memorized it, took it in, accepted it as at face value as fact, and then parroted it back out again without thinking about it. It must be nice to go through life just accepting. The things certain people say to you as fact, at face value, and not having to use your faculties at all. That must be wonderful for you. I don't have that luxury, though. I actually have to use my brain. I'm just too smart for that. I use my brain. I use my critical thinking. I use logic. I use reason. I just can't parrot shit out that people tell me. Oh, it's true. It's true. Believe me. It's true. And I believe it. Oh, no. No. I, I, even if I wanted to, I couldn't do it. So... Kudos to you, buddy, for uh, being able to be, be so blissfully ignorant. Next comment from After the Rage again. And also commenting on my video, my story of finding MGTOW. Me going my own way doesn't mean I'm going to stop calling out bullshit when I see it. Well, how do you know you see bullshit when you're really not able to think for yourself? <laughs> you, you see bullshit... In a sense that your ideology, what you've been told, identifies it for you because it fits a particular mold that you've been told identifies it as bullshit. But clearly from your last comment, you don't really have the capability to use logic, reason, critical thinking on your own to identify bullshit. And MGTOW, philosopher, quote unquote, is full of it. No arguments, just, you know, <laughs> okay. He's using sock puppets. Now... Just so you know, I didn't know what a sock puppet was before somebody told me that it's making fake accounts. I'm going to tell you right now that I've never made a fake account in my life. Now, for those of you paranoid out there, paranoid enough to believe that, you know, denying something means it's true. <laughs> Too bad for you, you delusional <laughs> cranks. Yeah, the black helicopter's flying over it right now. And I'm wearing a tinfoil hat as we speak. 
No, you are. Jesus Christ. This is some tinfoil hat bullshit. Tinfoil hat bullshit. What would it, No, I don't make sock puppet accounts, okay? I call them fake accounts. Never done that. Never will. No need. I don't know what the hell that's about. And starts up YouTube drama and in intellectually dis in, and it's it's written poorly. It should be is and is intellectually dishonest. Well, you're just doing critical theory here. Th this is just accusations. You're you're not actually making any arguments. You're just using critical theory to attack me and to sort of uh, try and make me lose credibility, which is a leftist tactic. Hmm. Not to mention he is using an anonymizer created by activists and journalists. What? What is he talking about? Anonymizer. What's an anonymizer? Uh, are you talking about my email? Oh, I remember this now. This is bullshit, pal. This is very interesting. Does it, do you know what an anonymizer is? That's not an anonymizer. I'm just using, I'm using an email. Oh, what is this? By the way, all email is anonymous unless you're using your real name. <laughs> I'm just using an email that uses the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The, the, the onion thing? Let me see here. Oh, Tor. Yeah, with the Tor browser. Yeah, I use the Tor browser. I use an email that has an extra level of security because I'm MGTOW. Uh, and I thought to myself, you know, I'm making these MGTOW videos. MGTOW's not very popular. I should probably create an email that's a little more secure. So I did a search of Google, and that was the first thing that came up. And it looked like the best one, had really good security. So I chose it. It's used by activists and journalists. What, that, that's, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Uh, I would think that, well, I would guess that activists and journalists would also want a high level of email security and would probably use uh, a Tor email too for the added security. So what? What does that mean exactly? Isn't that like saying that because journalists and activists eat a lot of Skittles, that if I eat a lot of Skittles, I'm a journalist or an activist? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Where did you come up with this logic? Huh? I don't understand. That doesn't make any sense. That's not an argument. It's a logical fallacy for sure. Oh, my God. I got to move on. Stupid, stupid nonsense. Next comment uh, from a mayor of Motown. Okay. Not a bad name. I like Motown. Some Motown. And my video, Fatty Blames Porn for Hubby's ED. When I think of a philosopher, I don't think of someone so juvenile. That's unfortunate. I think that some philosophers would be uh, understood much better if they had somewhat of a sense of humor and didn't take themselves so seriously, seriously and weren't, weren't such intellectual pinheads acting so elitist. Okay? So, yeah. And so juvenile. Oh, come on. I don't think I act juvenile at all. I'm a very mature guy. I don't see it. I don't see it. You say I act juvenile. I, I just don't see it. But, uh, you know, that's just an ad hominem anyway, and you're not giving an argument for why I'm juvenile, so I really can't argue with it except to deny it. <laughs> just like the previous comment where the guy was just throwing character attacks and, and essentially trying to uh, call my credibility into uh, uh, doubt, into question. So really, it, you know, I, I can't take that comment seriously either. Juvenile. Next comment, from also from Mayor of Motown. And the video, this is what the wall looks like. You guys are so miserable. No, you don't get it. Who are you talking about? Are you talking about the people that respond to my uh, uh, videos? You're talking about me. Because I'm not a miserable guy. I understand this. You're probably the one that's miserable. Okay, pal? I think this is projection on your part because I don't see anything miserable about myself or most of the people who respond to my videos. Is it so difficult for you to understand or to accept that a man could be happy without women in his life? Is it really that difficult to understand? <sighs> I guess so. On to the next comment. We're almost done. And this comment is from an Abby Pertulo. Oh, good. A woman, finally. Okay, so after those several idiotic uh, replies, now maybe we'll have something interesting to reply to. This guy is so damn disrespectful. It's disgusting. <laughs> Women love to use adjectives, don't they? Disrespectful. Disgusting. Yep. Eh. First of all, respect is earned. It's not giving. Given and is for disgusting. Eh, to you maybe. <laughs> but most people don't have such a thin skin as you do, okay? Of course, her skin is actually probably quite thick, literally speaking. It's got to hold in all that lard, you know? Women risk their lives going in the armed forces. No, they don't. Women are not in frontline combat roles. Even now, they're not in frontline combat roles yet. Yes, yeah, some women have been killed accidentally. I mean, women who were serving in behind combat roles uh, 
uh, line rolls, like driving trucks and shit around on roads where, where there were, uh, the road was booby trapped or something with a mine. But you never see women in front line combat roles, almost never. Not that I've heard of. If they are, it's tangential at best. They're not literally front line trading bullets with the enemy. So I don't know what you're talking about. Okay? Uh, by the way, the armor that the military has to wear who are with their front line infantry is so fucking heavy, the woman would be crawling on all fours because it'd be too fucking heavy for her to move around in. <laughs> what are you talking about? They're not in front line armed combat positions. They're in jobs where they're pushing paperwork around, babe. Oh, the only reason that the military let women is to make feminists happy. It's a political move to give women free jobs, easy jobs, create more jobs for women. They're already like 57% of the workforce. There's more women by far in the workforce than men, but it's not enough. Women won't be happy until it's 100% and men are left cowering in fear and they have no power in society whatsoever and they're subservient to women, which is what they think was the case with women 100 years ago, but that was never the case. They love their country and want to protect it. No, they don't. If they wanted to protect it, they would want to be signed up for the draft. But feminists are fighting that tooth and nail. Or are you too incompetent to comprehend that? Yeah, I guess I'm too incompetent to comprehend the fact that women want to have their cake and eat it too. And they want to have all the benefits but none of the responsibilities. Next comment. Not from a disingenuous pig cunt like this Abby Petula that I just replied to. You dumb bitch. Am I too, too incompetent to comprehend? Are you too incompetent to comprehend the fact that all you broads want to have all the benefits and you don't want to have any responsibilities that are of a negative nature? You want to be able to vote, okay? You want to be able to vote, but you don't want to actually pay to have that privilege. You don't pay any taxes. You take more than you pay. You want to be able to vote, but you don't risk your lives. Bullshit that you say you risk your lives. That's a lie. Have you done any research? There are no women in front line combat positions trading blows, trading bullets with the enemy. You are the liar here. You can't comprehend anything. But, of course, I'm not surprised with your tiny female brain. Next comment from a Carmen. And my video, Delusional Women with Useless Degrees. You guys get no pussy. Wrong, baby. You got that wrong. None. You're going through a dry spell. What? Bitch, please. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Like the Sahara Desert was in your dick. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not a bad insult, but it's not true. So I'm going to move on. And the next comment, oh, also from Carmen Tasaki. Saki, Zaki, Tazaki. Oh, my God. Let me copy and paste the link for a water bottle because you're all thirsty and playing a cat and mouse game. Thirsty? Oh, you mean we're thirsty for sex? No. You're wrong about that, babe. Let me be totally honest with you. I pick up my phone, I send a text message. In a half hour, I got some broad blowing me. You really don't have any conception, okay? Now there might be some MGTOW guys that are thirsty. I don't know. I'm not commenting on that. I'm commenting about myself. But I think, for by and large, you're mistaken. We're not going our own way because we're forced to. We're going our own way because we're choosing to, because the system is so unfair, that it's not worth the sacrifice to give up our freedom and our money and our resources to get nothing in return. And not only nothing, but it's a net negative. We actually lose things getting into an arrangement where we live with and uh, 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 get into a relationship and support a woman and no, 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 and have kids with her. It's a net loss. We don't own, not only do we not gain anything, we lose shit. <laughs> <laughs> so we recognize that and that getting into those kind of arrangements is actually just feeding the machine that is disenfranchising us. So we're choosing to walk away. We have the mental faculties and the critical thinking skills to see the solution and we're availing ourselves of that solution. That's all. So you're mistaken common and you have no conception of what men going their own way is really about and I am done. That's it. Thank you for joining me for MGTOW hater comments and my replies number nine. Please check out the description of this video for my Patreon. You will find a link to my podcast. And I have two Patreon accounts, one for my monthly subscribers where you can donate monthly. And unfortunately, YouTube is demonetizing more and more of my videos. So any help you can give me, any donations you can make if you choose to would be greatly appreciated. If you check that out, I have two Patreon accounts. One's f for monthly, uh, where you just donate once a month. 
uh, like a subscriber, like if you were subscribing to a magazine or something like that. And the other is for my podcast, which is weekly, and you would pay to get the podcast per week. But you can set a limit on how much you pay. So if I create more content than you want to pay for, then you would have a limit and you wouldn't be paying any more, no matter how much content I make. And that's it. I am the McTough Philosopher. I wish you guys a good day. Like and subscribe and take care.